Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel today. I am going to be opening another The Ring Boxes bridal subscription box. I honestly don't even know what number we're on. I think that this is box number six, if I'm not mistaken. Good news guys, I am not mistaken. This is box number six. I kind of lose track because these boxes do come every single month. Whereas my Mr. Mrs. boxes are sort of more spread out um, over the time of my engagement. And they kind of are themed to come at certain times of your engagement, like when you need certain things. So it's like, um, we've gotten like your engaged boxes. We've gotten a box to help you with planning. We've gotten a box to help you with like, you know, getting in shape and working out and maybe, you know, going on a more healthy diet. Um, the ring boxes were my favorite at first and they've kind of just like gone downhill since and I've sort of started really appreciating the Mr. and Mrs. box, which super excitingly I got a charge for today, which means that it will be coming very, very shortly, but I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get straight into this sucker and see what it is. Okay, so they finally have re-included the little pamphlet. This was missing from the last two boxes I had. I don't know if that was in purpose, on, in purpose, on purpose, but it just wasn't there. Um, I do like having this because it does talk a little bit about the product, so I'll put that there. And now I'm gonna just open this up. And all I can see is a box and a lot of paper. I really hate this crinkle paper. Like I understand why they're putting it in here, but still it's kind of getting annoying. So first things first, how much do you want to bet that this is like another drinking vessel, which I'm kind of getting sick of because I've gotten so many of these and so many from this company. Yeah, this says wedding planning glass to be 100% honest. I have almost this exact same thing. Megan bought it for me right when I got engaged as a little gift. It's a cute idea, it's fun, but I have one and the one that I have is actually a much better quality, much cuter. And again, like at this point, not that they know it, but I'm less than a year out. I've been doing a lot of my planning. This would have been helpful for like sitting and drinking a glass of wine while Tom and I were trying to cut down our guest list or, you know, when we were trying to research venues and stuff. Like I'm at the point now of like most of the big stuff is done and everything else, I, you know, whatever. Okay, what does it say? Stemless wine glass, this wedding plan planning glass, will come in handy with all the late nights of planning ahead. There are no late nights of planning ahead. I've already done that. All right, what's next? Oh my God, I'm getting super annoyed. Looks like more freaking earrings. This is, I think the third set of earrings that this box has given us. If not the third, then definitely the second. We got these little like rose gold studs last month that I never wore. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Um, okay, no, they are coming off. So originally, so these are like these little rose gold hearts and originally the one had like these little dark spots on them but they look like they do kind of rub off. Um, so it's not like the actual metal is tarnished, they're just a little dirty. Honestly, like these look really cheap. They kind of look like ones that like a little girl could get from the dollar store. I don't need heart earrings, stop sending me earrings. like. How are heart earrings associated with me trying to plan for my wedding? It's kind of gimmicky. I don't know. What does it say? We know your engagement ring is your favorite piece of jewelry. They are right, I'm obsessed with mine. But we bet you'll love these too. These adorable sterling silver heart earrings are plated in rose gold. They are romantic and fit for all occasions. Sure, they're cute, whatever. But you already gave me a set of earrings that are also rose gold and kind of cuter than those? I don't know. Next thing, we have another freaking balloon set. Um, again, sorry, I dropped a lot of paper on the floor. Stop it. Again, cute idea, bride to be. Cute for like a bachelorette party or um, a bridal shower, but how many freaking balloons do I need? I have one that says love or two that say love. I don't even remember all of them. Um, bride to be balloon banner. These gorgeous rose gold foil balloons are each 16. Oh my God. I'm going to lose my mind on this company also for their grammar. Like I, I, I really need you guys to work on this. Here's my issue. It says are 16 inches as in the little symbol for inches. And then it also says inches in letters. I, I, oh, I hope you guys can see this. Please focus. Do you see this? 16 inches, inches in height. 
If you're gonna use one, don't use the other. Like, come on. It just... I know this is, like, me really nitpicking, but at the same time, like, you're supposed to be a professional company. Um, it takes two minutes to, like, I spotted that immediately. How is it that somebody at your company, maybe who's ever in, responsible for printing these, isn't seeing that? Like, it just annoys me, and I know that this isn't the first time that I've spotted a grammatical error in one of these pamphlets. Like, maybe talk to whoever it is who's responsible for typing and printing these up and, like, ask them, you know if they're actually any good at grammar and like editing and like spell checking because it doesn't really look like it. So it says, and form the perfect bride to be banner that is bound to get you in the spirit of celebration. Ooh, more balloons. Okay. Next thing is tips for tipping. This actually like, see, it's things like this that like actually might be useful where it like gives you a bit of advice about things to do for your wedding that you might not have thought of or whatever. So it's this little like, it actually feels really good quality, um, little book pamphlet thing. And it says wedding planner, should I? Not if he or she owns the business. How much? Up to $500 or 15% of fee or a gift. When do you tip them? The honeymoon. And then at the bottom, it gives you like an, an amount and did you tip them? So this would be really good to like have on the night of your wedding. So you're like, okay, as you tip people, you're checking it off. Uh, I am the wedding planner. I'm not getting tipped. Um, transportation, should you tip them? You know, uh, hair and makeup. Again, I think that's one of those things that um, if it's like just a person doing it, this is just my opinion that if you are talking to someone who owns their own business and or a friend that's just doing it obviously pay for their services pay for their travel but realistically like they're getting a hundred percent of that and it would be different to me if it was like a girl at sephora or something like that or somebody who worked for a larger company that was only maybe getting like a part of that cut uh, musicians is optional djs optional band is optional reception and catering staff and then it leaves spaces for others. It, again, it's a good idea. And this is the kind of stuff that I was more hoping to get. But it's like such a small portion of this box. Um, let's read that because I think now I just have to read them. Um, I, I, I just want to get like, it, this is horrible of me. I feel like like a real stickler. But like I just want to get a red pen and like go through this. Um, so it says, tips for tipping booklet. This booklet is a must have for all brides. When it comes to the day of your wedding, you will be organizing tips for lots of different people. This booklet is not only essential in helping you plan out who you should tip and how much, but also for you to keep track of your tips on the big day. Again, cute idea. Maybe something to give to like your mother or your maid of honor, especially if your wedding does include alcohol because you're going to be too busy and possibly too drunk on your own wedding day because on your wedding day, everybody wants to take a shot with you or have a drink with you or have a cheers with you. You're gonna be too busy to try and think back and be like, did I tip that person or did I not? And also, no bride is sitting there carrying this around in their dress being like, let me just pull out my tip book and see what's going on. Next thing are a set of six wine charms. Um, these look like paper clips. I've never ever seen a wine charm that has like almost looks like a tie clip on the back so I don't even know how that would work. They're kind of cute. I don't know. They're like little diamonds and they say bride, maid of honor, and then there's Ugh. Okay, one says matron of honor, one says maid of honor, and then three say bridesmaid, and one says bride. I want no part in this, to be honest. I don't understand how they work. I have wine charms that have, like, the little, like, um, wire circle on them that just go on the stem. I don't even know where you would, like, stick this. Like, are you expected to stip it in, stick it in the top of the glass? Isn't that going to scratch the glass? I don't really know. Also, it's like I know that I have more bridesmaids than most people have. I'm going to have seven bridesmaids and a maid of honor, which is a lot. Um, but I don't know how common it is to have like a matron of honor and a maid of honor anymore. I personally don't have them. So I don't know. That's just whatever to me. And the last one. Okay. It's another shirt. Uh, we've gotten a lot of shirts. Let's check this out. It's white. Again, really soft. Like they do do really soft. Oh, Okay, this is kind of okay, kind of cute. 
So it is a long sleeve shirt, really soft, actually feels good weight, and it says future misses on the front. One thing I am going to say, it is see-through as all heck. Very see-through, so this would be cute for like a pajama top in the winter maybe, or I, I don't know, you definitely wanna wear a tank top or something under this. This is probably the only thing that I think is really cute in this box. Uh, and again, it kind of comes with an expiration on it. Obviously something that says future misses. I can wear it a ton, I can wear it around the house. I don't necessarily think I would wear it out. Um, but like it might be cute for my bachelorette party weekend if I wore that as like my pajama top or something like that. It's really cute, but it does have an expiration. Uh, so I didn't read to you guys about the wine charms where it says these custom wine glass charms are perfect to share with your bridal party. They are created to fit on the rim of any glass. So whether it be a champagne glass filled with mimosas when you're getting ready or your big day for your big day or a wine glass when celebrating your bachelorette, they will be the perfect fit for your occasion. I honestly just think they're gonna scratch the glassware. It's just a personal opinion. I might be wrong. That's just how I think. And the last thing says, future Mrs. Long Sleeve shirt. This cozy shirt is such a statement. We had these custom made with purpose to ensure the fit material and sizing was exactly what our brides needed. The material is super soft and stretchy. We also printed, I said yes on the left sleeve to make for the perfect photo op for showing off your new ring. It's not a new ring. I've had this ring for over a year now. I've been engaged a long time. Why is this just coming to me now? Also, I'm gonna check this whole thing about a perfect fit. This isn't a size small. Um, I get that like it's obviously hard for them to do like a generic like sizing chart but let's just see how this actually fits. Um, also I do have another shirt underneath it so that's kind of good. It actually fits okay. I'm not mad at the fit. Like it's a little loose but comfortable and then this is what they're talking about where it says um, I said yes but here's my thing. Um, you can't see it all. So in a photo op, you'd almost need to like do that, right? Cause like it wraps around so you can't really see what it says. I don't know, again, it's cute, it's actually really comfortable. I'll give them that. Um, I don't know. So how did this box go? We got a cute t-shirt. I'm not mad about the shirt. Um, other than that, honestly, I'm kind of just like whatever with it. There's a huge part of me that just wants to cancel it, but I am determined to see both of these subscription services through. If for nothing else, then to be able to give you guys a really good comparison of one versus the other so that you can decide which one has better value, which one has a better variety of things. Um, and so far, I really should watch back my videos and see how many glassware items that I have gotten in these boxes because it feels like a lot. Um, but at the end of all of this, I'm going to be doing a comparison video, one box to the other box, and then I'm probably gonna be selling off or gifting away a heck of a ton of the stuff that I got here to somebody else um, that would get more use out of it than I would. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. What are your thoughts on this box? Is it starting to really miss the mark? Am I being too critical of it? I mean, I am spending my own money to get this box, so... I, I don't know, uh, everyone has an opinion, um, these are just mine. If you've gotten this box and you really enjoyed it, then that's awesome for you. Um, but yeah, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And if you're not already and you want to be, then subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time, bye.